New at 6 tonight, 38 ports of entry across the northern border, including here in our region, might not be open when you want to go through. Within the last half hour, New York Governor Kathy Hochul came out saying she strongly opposes the decision by U.S. Customs and Border Protection. And our Plattsburgh Bureau Chief Alec LeSham find out what, found out what it might mean for communities relying on cross-border traffic. Port of entries across New York and Vermont will soon have their hours scaled back. For border communities like the village of Rouse's Point, that can mean less traffic through the village and more wait times at other port of entries. We just hope that people will continue to use this port uh, in the hours that they're able to. Matt Hammonds is the co-owner of Frenchies, a restaurant in downtown Rouse's Point that opened over a year ago. His business is among many in the village that see visitors coming from the port of entry every day. Having the border right there has uh, really boosted our business for us, not just the Canadians coming down, but also all sorts of travelers. But Hammond says he and others are worried about changes to the border crossing starting in early January. Customs and Border Protection say they are reducing times across several smaller ports of entry, including Rouse's Point, which will be open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. That means travelers will have to go elsewhere to cross the border, like the Champlain Port of Entry, which could take longer. It's not as congested as what it is at the main port of entry. And as a lot of people know that live in this area that do use the main port of entry, um, you sometimes you go there and there's only one or two booths that are open and you have a considerable wait time before you can go through the border. The shortened hours could also impact more than commerce, like public safety calls on both sides of the border. I think the frustrating part when they, when they have these changes and these hour changes, you could have a fire that's literally across the line. Chris Trombley with the Champlain Fire Department says they have a mutual aid partnership with four other departments in Canada. He says if the number of open ports are limited, then that could mean a longer response time for fire calls. If you go to Moores or on the ex outskirts of Ross's Point, uh, they may have to, depending on the time uh, that the outlying borders are closed, they may have to come to the main port and backtrack. CBP say the changes will allow them to move people to other busier ports of entry and increase security along the border. Reporting in Rouse's Point, Alec LeSham, Channel 3 News.